So do you want to know how to color grade the Osmo Pocket 3? More specifically, do you want to know how to color grade D-Log M, which is the log footage profile that's on the Osmo Pocket 3? Now this isn't as good as S-Log 3, which you will get on the professional cameras and things like that, where you have tons and tons of dynamic range to play with, but it's the mobile version of it, and it's actually pretty good. It's not terrible, but there's a lot of people in the comments that I've seen on other videos that are similar to this that will say, well, why do I need to color grade D-Log M? The, the normal color profile is good enough. You can just point and shoot. You might have to change a few minor settings, but ultimately you can just point and shoot, turn it on normal profile, and you can get good enough footage, especially if you've got the Mic 2 with it as well, and you just get great looking footage straight out of the box, and you haven't got to mess around with color grading. That is very true, and I would agree with that. But the reason why D-Log M is there is to test your creative ability and sort of, sort of, get your creative juices flowing a little bit. So it's not for everyone, but it's an option, which I love, because there will be people in the camp that will say, I don't want to shoot in the color profile, the normal color profile. I want to have full creative control over the way my image looks. And then they have the option to shoot in D-Log M. Whereas other people will just say, I just want to shoot in normal color profile, not do anything with it. They've got the option for that as well. So that's the great thing about the Osmo Pocket 3. It caters to everyone. If you want to shoot, in log profile, then I'm gonna show you exactly what to do. Right, so the first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna get your DJI Osmo Pocket 3 and you're gonna change the settings to D-Log M. So what you're gonna do is you're basically gonna hold it and you're gonna swipe to the from the right and you're gonna come up with this menu right here. And you see right there, it says it's right now in the normal color profile. You're gonna tap that and tap it until it says D-Log M. Right, so now that is set to record in log footage. So now that will record in D-Log M. You will notice it'll be a very flat picture profile and there will be virtually no color in it whatsoever. It's supposed to look like that, okay? That is what it's supposed to look like. So now you know how to shoot in D-Log M. Now let's show you how to color grade. And for the purpose of this, we're gonna be using DaVinci Resolve because that's what I use for all my editing. However, you can apply the same principle to absolutely any editing software, Final Cut Pro, Premiere Pro, whatever you use, the principle remains the same. So let's jump in. Right, so the first thing you're gonna do is to jump into Google and type in DJI Osmo Pocket 3 Rec 709. Exactly as it appears in the search bar there. And then you're gonna to wanna to click on this link right here. It says DJI Osmo Pocket 3 D-Log M to Rec 709 Download Center. And that's on the official DJI website. And then you're gonna to wanna to pick between Windows or Mac. I'm on a Windows computer, so I'm then gonna pick Windows. Once you've downloaded that, you need to extract all of the files to somewhere where you know where they're gonna be. So I recommend putting them all in the desktop. Then once you've done that, head on over to your editing software, in my case, DaVinci Resolve, and go to the color grading tab. Once you're on the color grading tab, click on any of the LUTs that are already there and right click on the LUT. And that will then take you to the file location. Now it's not gonna appear on my screen, but then you just wanna click on where the file location is. And when that opens up, you drag and drop your Rec 709 color LUT that's now on your desktop into that file location that's now opened. Then all you need to do is right click anywhere where your LUTs are and hit refresh. And then you will see it has now appeared on the top right, the DJI Osmo Pocket 3 to Rec 709 converter. Then all you need to do is go onto your node right here for the purpose of DaVinci Resolve, right click on it and then click on LUT and then select from the drop down list the DJI Osmo Pocket 3 Rec 709. And there you go. That is your color profile all done. Then you can just make some changes as you see fit and that is how you color grade it. Now, does this make a huge difference? If you look at some side-by-side -side comparisons, it doesn't really make a massive difference. It, they kind of look the same into the naked eye or somebody that doesn't know what they're looking at. You probably wouldn't be able to tell the difference between the two, but it just gives you an extra layer of creatability. Creatability? I love that word, I've just made it up. It gives you an extra layer of creativity that you can use to just play around with your videos and your color footage and stuff. It's just up to, up to you. Play with your color grading, have some fun, and good luck. Hope you found this video useful. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Many thanks.